Hi everybody and welcome to Bucks Indian of Romney, West Virginia. I'm Steve Rinker, rider of the number seven uh, cannonball motorcycle machine. Come on inside, let's take a look and meet everybody. This is my dad's, mine, and I guess Justin and Jared's and Brittany's and all the grandkids. This is the family collection. We've been building bikes for a while, all the restored bikes we've done here, and uh, of course the original bikes we've purchased along the way. So uh, come on back, everybody's sitting here in the back talking. This is my dad, and everybody knows Buck. Hello. That's my daughter Brittany. This is Justin, and of course Jared has to be sitting on one. But uh, what do you guys think? We're ready for 2016? Oh yeah. yeah. So. Anyway, uh, while you're here, this is Ginger. This was our 2012 uh, campaign. This is 1929 Indian Scout. Um, we rode this one. We missed the last day. We had some breakdowns and missed the last day. So uh, we learned a lot about that one. And this was 2014 Cannonball. This is Rose. This is my 1936 Indian Chief. And what a gorgeous girl she was. We made every day, made every mile, and we got every single point. Uh, of course, riding the Chief was a whole lot easier compared to the 101. But 2016's coming up. She's got to be 100 years old. Back to the slow and go again. So anyway, everybody always wants to know why Indians. You know, we could have rode Harleys, anything else. Everybody says, why Indian? Well, my dad. Dad. Come over here, tell us a little bit about your history and why the rest of us are riding Indians. I'm Buck. I think I started riding Indians in about 1953. My first Indian was a chief. It did not have an engine, so me and my buddies would take it up on the hill and push it off. And then in the evening, we got towards pushing it. we just push it down the bank and come back a couple days and play with it again. The following year, which I guess was about 54, 55, I got my, another chief. I paid 75 dollars for it. I rode him home, rode him till 1958. At that time, I went in the service. Come home in 1962. Got another Indian, and I rode it for many, many years. And then my son got interested in Indians, so he just kind of took it from one motorcycle to several motorcycles, and uh, we do enjoy them. And then my grandsons learned to ride on Indians. They built two 741s. And then my granddaughter, Brittany, she tried to ride, but she don't get along very good. But anyway, we've had a great time with the Indians throughout my life, and uh, it certainly is a great motorcycle. One more time. This will be our third one. And uh, you pretty you ready for this one? I guess. You guess. <laughs> All right. Then we got Jared, Justin, and my daughter, Brittany. So uh, everybody here at Bucks Indian, we're excited about the upcoming year. So uh, let's take a few minutes and we'll go over to the shop and I'll show you our 2016. Here's our uh, entry for the 2016 Motorcycle Cannonball. And I tell you, we was real lucky. Uh, last year at Ole in 2014, before anybody knew anything about the next Cannonball, uh, we went on ahead and uh, we got an opportunity, Dad did, to buy this. Uh, this bike was 99% complete. It was just missing the, the lights. Uh, other than that, it's all there. So we bought the bike before we even knew about the Cannonball or even thought about riding it on a Cannonball. But uh, very nice original motorcycle. Um, Sheet metal was great, but uh, I mean, it, it turned out good for us, didn't it, Dad? Yeah. So we picked it up, and uh, fortunate enough, now we've got our reason to, to ride the thing. So we're going to uh, hopefully get this jump into the project here real soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <coughs> when you jump into these projects on these motorcycles, what do you mean? What do I mean? <laughs> Hell, at my age, I need to finish flying my airplane up there, and there's one over here. And then this little thing I just bought here the other day. The Messer Smith. Whatever it is, I'm going to ride this thing up only. Ride around in circles. Well, all that got to be done before we get on these motorcycles. 
Well, you're you're getting at the age now where your want list ain't so far. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so there you have it. Uh, this cannonball is going to be really great for us. Uh, Dad and I have done it three times already. Uh, or excuse me, twice. We've done it 2012, 2014. This will be our third one. And uh, we're pretty excited. Uh, my boys uh, is going to get to join us. It's going to be a three-generation run for Bucks Indian. Um, we're pretty tickled. We're very thankful to Lonnie and the whole Cannonball team to let the boys participate this year and allow us to come back and do it as well. So until then... Well, uh, I'm going to do this project next, then I'll work on those later, and uh, we'll see you all in Atlantic City, September 2016. Don't forget the car.